Hi everyone, so welcome to one of our live demonstrations, again using pumpkins, getting ready for the Halloween season. So we already have this pumpkin prepared, we've cut off the lid and we've scooped out the inside. And normally what we do just to preserve them a little bit is we use diluted bleach and water and we mist the inside, just kind of delays bacteria growing. You could use a disinfectant. Lots of people have their own theories. Some people spray them with kind of a palm oil on the inside to form a coating. And I have here the people um, layering them with like a layer of Vaseline as well. So whatever suits you. So I have one of these, um, what we would call a bulb bowl, and my oasis is already inserted into the bowl. It's strapped in with anchor tape, and I'm going to place it inside the pumpkin there just to get it steady. Now one side, get over there, it's moving around. So one side of my pumpkin lid, I've just cut it down. Do you see just a little bit flatter on one side? And what I want to do is have my pumpkin lid on an angle, I'll just turn it around here. This is the sort of effect, you see that I want to get, so that my pumpkin is going to be open. So what I've done, and this is live, so we have to just wait and see how things go, is I'm using, you probably call them lollipop sticks. This is actually a waxing stick, so it's a little bit wider, but lollipop stick would actually do. And as you can see, I've just cut it a bit shorter, and I've pointed, um, using the scissors, I pointed both ends. So I'm just gonna try this out for a second, so I have an idea where I'm going to go. So I'm just gonna insert this stick down into our pumpkin on that side, and I've just come out of it, there we go. And we'll try it, I'm just going to, again, just have a quick little measure so I can see, yep. So we'll try it over there. So just hold your pumpkin, no. Right, we go for a different spot. No, still, there we go. Working towards the outside seems to work better. So two sticks inserted, a little bit tricky on that side. And now I'm just going to place on the lid and I'm just going to insert the sticks up into the lid here and just wedge them down. There we go, nice and tight. Turn that around and there's our lid in place. I have some ivy cut up. This is just our wild tree ivy with the seed heads on it. And this wouldn't be a typical commercial flower arrangement. And all I'm going to do is just insert the ivy. I have it all cut up into, I suppose, 10, 12, 15 centimeter lengths. And I'm just going to basically stick the ivy into our open pumpkin. So that's just kind of give you an idea. So very, very casual. If you never did flower arrangements in your life, you'll have no problem. The trickier part of this arrangement was getting the lid on, as you've seen when I went to do it first there. But other than that is we're just sticking our ivy in. Any foliage, if you decided that you would prefer to use Pinosporum or use Eucalyptus, that would be absolutely fine. Any foliage that you can get, I just find this time of the year, the ivy is great, it's just going wild. Everybody can get their hands on it. All your neighbours seem to have it growing. Um, they're delighted if you cut the ivy back for them. I'll just turn this around and I'm not finished. Just again, just to give you an idea, do you see how casual this is? And some of the ivy is a little bit longer than other pieces, that's fine, there's a really little short one there. Just take off the bottom leaf before you insert it into the foam, so you have a nice like clean stem going into your foam. And then what I'm plan is, is I'm going to decorate this with some roses. So again, just one or two more little bits, just looking for some narrow ones, just to get in here. And just around where the lollipop sticks were inserted into the lid, I'm just gonna see, can I get a piece and just insert it in there, just to try and cover that little hole. That's it, so ready to go. So that's my pumpkin greened up. When I first seen this pumpkin, I just loved this part of it, because most times you don't see that part on the pumpkin. And it was the one pumpkin I said, we definitely have to use the lid for, like don't get rid of it. And I'm just kind of thinking this is, you know, very simple idea, but yet still keeping all the character of the actual pumpkin. So what I have now is a bunch of roses. I've more than a bunch of roses. I've about 30 roses here, but there's no way I'm going to use all these roses. Again, when I seen these from my Dutch supplier, I said the color of them is just going to be fabulous for Halloween. So this variety of rose is called Catch, as in Catch the Ball. So that's the variety of the roses. So you could check out your local flower shop and you would be able to purchase them. So what I'm going to do is just again, randomly cut our roses and insert them down through the foliage, through the ivy. Don't put them in too, too short. Keep them that you can see the flower heads and um, you can put in as many as you choose to do. And removing some of the foliage from the rose stems because that will make it easier to insert. 
So I have a couple of them cut short already here in my hand. And what I'm going to do now, again, randomly. Don't think about it too much. Sometimes when people are doing flower arranging, they overthink it. And then it kind of gets too technical. So just randomly, don't think about it too much. Twist the turntable around and just insert the roses. And wherever you can kind of work them in between the foliage. I'm just going to turn around so you can see what it looks like so far. The colour is amazing, isn't it, with the pumpkin? And again, like this pumpkin is just so unusual looking. It is your typical old fashioned pumpkin look, I suppose. Um, we bought these um, pumpkins from a garden centre in County Carlow. It was called Rathbilly Garden Centre. And I'm sure lots of garden centres sell pumpkins. But just in case um, anybody happens to be down around the Carlow direction, and um, the fellow's name was Declan, I think. And um, he just happened to be attending a course here at the school. And we were asking about pumpkins. And he said he had these fine big, big pumpkins. There we go, just to give you an idea. I'm going to put in another one or two in through it. So just make sure to bring a rose out that little bit longer. Remember where the lollipop sticks were, and I'm going to do the same on the opposite side here. So it's just kind of like really joining up the um, edges of the two pumpkins, the, the top and the bottom is what I meant, not the two pumpkins. I might say I nearly have enough in there. I'll just count them in case somebody asks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 roses. Like you could give or take, I could stick another one or two in, but these roses are quite fresh and so I'm leaving them lots of space that they can blow open and fill up the area. And again, if you wanted, you could get little spiders, you could get some spider web and you could decorate this up even a lot more and have it more Halloween looking. But I think I'd be happy enough with that, so I'm going to leave it at that. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and um, if you have any questions, definitely comment below if you have any questions or email me. Anybody that's watching on YouTube, I'd love if you'd give me the thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. If you happen to be watching on Facebook or on Instagram, share the love, so give us a little like and maybe share this or tag your friends underneath. If you have any questions, put your question in the comments. I respond to all questions and to all comments. And even if it's just to say hi, Jeanette, definitely comment below. So we'll definitely um, be posting some more free tutorials on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. Follow us on, um, follow our website. Our website address is flowerschoolireland.com. And if you would like to email me privately, my email address is info at flowerschoolireland.com. Have a great day.